something kind of different. Now let's look at the IMDb star meter for some reason. I'm, I'm going to look at the first page. Because you know what? I kind of feel like it. And I might do that every other week. Every week. I will check if the weeks are... If it's up to date on the week. Because let's see how movies are trending. Let's see how many people are from Black Panther. Realize recording um, horizontally is better. So I right. start with number fifty, Jason Momoa. Um, he is in the Justice League and the Justice League on Blu-ray, so I guess that's why he's that high. Um, I don't know why Monero but Karen's there. Timothy Shamley. He'll be very. Oscars are next week, I think. So you'll go up there in the list, and um, please don't steal any more girls. <laughs> I don't know why, because Timothy steals girls. Okay, Sophia Lewis is still high from it. Um, Jennifer Lawrence. Okay, you have Red Sparrow. Google Much Raw. You have, like, two Netflix movies in February. Wow, that's, like... First was Cloverfield, and I, I forgot the other one. I'm going to see it soon, I guess. Ryan Coogler, number 44. I'm actually really disappointed you're that low, Ryan. Um... Dude directed Black Panther, and it's a fantastic movie, and uh, I'm disappointed he's not higher. Um, Jacob Tremblay. I guess people like you. Um, Kelly who? Who? <laughs> I'm Sally Hawkins. Um, yeah, makes sense. My Elizabeth Winston, I guess. Zendaya, Renee, Milo Vinton. Um, why are you guys? Oh, yeah, Reggie, because, yeah, he passed away. And he was one of the better parts of Fan Four Stick. Um, he was really good there. And I'm gonna talk about Fan Four Stick later on. Amelia Clark, I guess. It was a solo Lily James because of me. Uh, Kelly Rubin, and Lupita. Wow, Lupita is. I expected her to be like higher, like in the twenties or something. But I guess, but I guess that didn't help much. Doug Jones. Then you, play, I think he played the fish one in Shape of Water. So he's pretty high. Karen Gillan, I'm assuming for Jumanji. Uh, Rebecca Ferguson, I guess. Who are you? Elizabeth Becky in the amazing Peter Rabbit. Um, yikes. I'm going to assume Altered Carbon. Because I, it, it's it's the new Netflix thing. And, um, yeah. Well, um... So, Dene Guerrera, number 20. Should have been higher. She was really good in Black Panther. Alicia Vikander. Um, eh. Josh Brolin. You got three big films. Soldado. Um, Soldado. Sky 2. Avengers Infinity War. And um, Deadpool 2. Elizabeth Olsen there. Margot Robbie's quite high. Chloe Grisman. Wait. Tessa Thompson. Jim Newman for Fifty Shades. Um, yay! Congratulations. This will be the last Fifty Shades. Oh, I think I know why Tessa Thompson but high because of Annihilation. But I should expect Natalie Portman and um, Oscar Isaac to be here. But I don't think they're here. Kristen Liam, um, Saoirse Ronan, and Lady Bird, Jennifer Aniston, Tom Hardy because of that Venom trailer. Like, ah, oh, man, that trailer. At least spawn a few good memes. Letitia Wright did not make the top 10. Um, she played Shuri in uh, Black Panther. And she probably is so far the standout performer of the year. Because um, she was really good in Black Panther. Um, she brought a lot of comedic elements. And she did represent um, how a younger sister would act. Um, because, um, you know, that's what sisters do, I guess. Siblings do, I guess. So, um, okay. Uh, so I skipped that. Um, Joey Hanning, number 10. Yeah, she was in when we first met. And um, yeah, she was pretty good in there. So I guess that gave her a boost. Surprisingly, that gave her quite a bit of a boost. When we first met, apparently gave a lot of a big boost to people. Uh, Michael B. Jordan at number... How is he number nine? He should be number one or something. He should be like in the top five, man. Did you see him take off the shirt? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Michael B. Jordan was really good in Black Panther. Like he's like probably the best villains. I mean, in the MCU in general. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, he barely squeaked in. Um, Shelly, for some reason, made it. Um, even though she was good in when we first met, and probably the best part of the movie. But um, yeah, she beat Letitia right because I don't know what are those because a, oh, that's like my things for Black Panther. Ha! I just don't know how um, how the Black Panther people are not doing as good as possible. Okay. Ariok, Ariok, Bell, I'm assuming, or, or Altered Carbon, Dakota G for the, uh, the Fifty Shades movie. Um, uh, those things are over now. Chadwick Boseman at number six. How dare you disrespect the king of Wakanda? Um, um, yeah, Chadwick is really good, but I ex uh, Michael B. Jordan stood out more. Okay. The Chen Lashman, I'm, I'm assuming Altered Carbon again. Gal Gadot, I'm assuming, because people really like Gal Gadot, and um, a lot of girls like Wonder Woman, and I guess Gal Gadot is just like the actress who's really, really popular. And Joel Kinnaman, yeah. This is Katana, she got my back. Um, Yeah, I'm assuming he, yeah, the top tier from Altered Carbon, so no. Oh, Alexander Dario, <laughs> forgot your number two. Did when we first met just put you up there because Baywatch ain't helping you. Baywatch is because like people were worried that um Baywatch just like sacked the rock like oh, oh no. But then like Jumanji came in got like nine hundred million dollars. It outgrows Justice League. I think it outgrows Wonder Woman, Spider Man, Homecoming. I think it's kind of even doing better than um, Last Jedi in some weird way. So yeah, and Mar Marta, Marta Hirugaren. Why did you say that name? Um, the person's name is Marta, and I'm assuming she's. Yep, I shouldn't even look. Altered Carbon. Um, Altered, uh, no, Altered Carbon. It's a Netflix series, and it's like the next. Big thing, I guess, from Netflix. Um, yeah. Because Netflix kind of makes more successful TV shows than series than movies. Because um, the movies they make, the t series are make, are like, I kind of like pop culture icons. Like the Marvel Netflix shows like Daredevil, Punisher, Luke Cage are really well liked. And Stranger Things is Probably one of the most popular new IPs in existence. And um, Altered Carbon could be that next. But then um, their movies haven't hit that well. Not talking about the smaller ones, but um, things like um, Bright didn't do as well as they wanted to. And I just watched Mute recently and it was okay. And actually, it, it wasn't that good at all. Um, then we have things like Cloverfield, where the marketing was great, but people don't receive the Netflix movies that well. Um, I liked four out of the five I saw. The only one I didn't like that much was Mute, and it's like a sci-fi, but that was that was a slog. Um, I'm not this is not a Mute review. Um, no love for Mbaku or or who was the or the character played by Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah, and all over them. Okay. Let's just look at the... Maybe they're in, like, the other top. So, yep. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, I guess. Um, no love for other people. Oh! Speaking of Daniel Kaluuya, she's, he's right there at 51. So, yeah... Oh, yeah, and um, because Adam went for six for Ned when they first met. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess that's it, Tom Cruise. Yeah, you're going to be very high soon, Gary Oldman, once you win that Oscar. I mean, Leo waited and he got his Oscar. Um, and so, yeah. Clint Eastwood's there. For, like, Alex, shut the heck up. <laughs> Oh, that was not a good line in that 1570 to Paris movie. Uh, oh, Domino Gleason, 88. So, yeah. 
That's gonna be it. And yeah. Oh, there you go. So yeah, that's it.